What's up, everybody? Hello, and welcome back to some more Vicky 3 as Greece. We're picking up right where we left off, where we just got out of a war to keep expanding our holdings here in Ethiopia. And now it's going to be time to further integrate Shewa into our great nation with their 75 battalions. Um, that's quite a ton here. We do have to be careful, though, because now that they're part of the Great British market, if they don't accept like a peaceful transition of government, uh, we probably can't beat them in a war. So we need to get our, our strength up to where we can match Shewa and get some progress there. Uh, we're also trying to pass public schools. It's not going too well. We need to get more debates in our favor here. Maybe it's time to... Well, actually, we're losing quite a bit of... Okay, stop bolstering the industrialists. We have wealth voting, so technically the rural folk shouldn't be this damn strong. Why are you so, so much clout? Total strengths of votes in last election, plus 53,000. Okay, so and then from wealth, 1.4. Meanwhile, your wealth is 5. Okay, so they just have a lot of pop in there. Yeah, they have a ton of pop, and they did well in the last election. Um, we're going to keep trying to push this through. Would love to get rid of the, the political schools here. The problem is we just, no, we just got the Aegea Sophia. Since that gives more strength to the clergy, we're, we're seeing... Uh, some things here. Yeah, plus 25 prestige, plus clergy. And then, actually, what I can also do, did I change, did this change to using, uh, speaking of, I need to go and, okay, yeah. Gotta do a couple things. We built our railway over here, which means I need to go and change the stuff that this state does to use rail transportation. Uh, likewise, we wanna do it with the places that can. I know we can do it for, the city center. Where is the city center? It's at the top. It is right, urban center. Public trams. All right, that will make it to where our railway is actually productive. Uh, stop here. Smooth voice for artillery. We've gained a setback. Heavy handedness. Civil war. I would love it if the rural folks step down here. That's going to actually help us get more people in favor of public schools if they lose that. Two billion radicals. Quite a bit. We're back to the baseline of our taxation, aren't we? Yeah, let's go ahead and pick up another construction sector. Uh, this time, let's let's actually throw it in... Um, I'm leaning towards Eastern Thrace yet again. Let's do Northern Thrace, though. Gonna kind of spread it out. I know you get more... It's better to actually do it, I think, in the same state because you get throughput bonuses. But you also have to consider that there's a bonus for your local construction, right? Your state construction sufficiency gets a bonus for each level of this. And it just got, got to be a breaking point um, where it's better to either build it in the state or just do it where you have the most uh, construction sectors. And I'm not sure what that is. So I'm curious to see if you guys have any input on like what's the best outcome there. The Probably is a spreadsheet somewhere that someone's made on like the Reddit or something that you could do to find that information, but that's beyond me. So Shewa. Shewa, Shewa, Shewa. 17% chance here. I could do the old roll the dice again and again and again to see if it works. Or I can just wait till you like me more. All right, right now you're loyal. We need to be stronger. I could do some upgrades here. How are we doing in military? We're probably falling behind on military. In fact, we definitely are. Let the procession go ahead. Oh, we're getting our first ever motor industry. Thank you, private investment. You're a doll. Oh, vineyards. I forgot. Does we have any of those in Attica? Got to make sure that these things also are using rail transportation. Any plantations need to use this. Okay, we definitely have a local good shortage now of our railroads here. This should actually make a ton of money for us. Cool. Probably need to build another one of these, on all honesty. Wooden pasture cars, yes. Could go to government run. Come on, let's have a good debate, please. I 
don't like how a group with like no clout can still hold a like you're a marginalized interest group. I don't know why you're starting a revolt here. Probably because we have just too many radicals in general. Autumn truce is up in five weeks. Alright, let's go ahead and cancel this law. It's not working in our favor. I could just go private school if I really, really want to. Um, but I'd rather go to like no migration controls here. That's a lot of people that don't like it. Or 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 laissez faire. I like laissez faire. Yeah, that's a better law to pass for us. Much better. Move to enact homesteading. Speaking of, how far are we from mutual funds? Quite far, I'd say. Why do we want to get after egalitarianism? Do we want to keep going down stuff over here? Or is there something I really want to hit in this area over here? I think water tube boilers would be really good. And then reinforced concrete is just so good. I want to get that. Just makes your construction sector even more efficient. Um, so the earlier you get that, the better. Okay, we can fight the Ottomans. Do I do it? How many are you repping? You have, only, you have only 18 troops, man. You're so weak. The problem is I'm worried about other people getting involved. Let's do this for five infamy. And I want to throw more in there. Let's do Hudvinger. Let's do Aiden. And then can I get the East Aegeans? I can. And then offer an obligation. They might back down because these are not primary goals. But let's see. Let's see if the Turks, let's see if the guy's smart enough to do that because there's no way they're winning this. We'll wait to raise our home army and just let uh, GB get involved here. Sure, there's an army coming somewhere. Just hold here. Here comes GB. And they're actually going to let it go to conflict. We're going to get Byzantium formed. Assuming we win, of course. Oh, this is so good for us. Let's go. We back down. Smart. That's good for them. I can't blame them for that. But also, we get to just get it for free. Uh, but now we've seen that the Ottomans are weak enough that we don't really care what everyone does. So what would that get us? They got us some more wheat farms, some more iron iron plantations. Not iron plantations. Iron mines. Uh, so I'll take that. I'll take that every day of the week here. And we can incorporate that in two years because it's so close to us. Big Greece is formed. I love this. This is great. Very good for us. So. And that just means we get a free truce reset there with the Turks. Okay, what about reducing autonomy with these guys? 21 reason, 200% chance there. I bet you we still had to give up an obligation, though. We did have to give it to the GB, so we lost the obligation there. That's fine. Let's kill Kaffa, if possible. Yeah, let's kill Kaffa. And you have 25 troops. I want to just get the home army involved in this. I've, I've been not trusting the results of the African force. We'll keep them available. I think the home army will be fine. Oh, well, that sucks. That really sucks. Um, fuck. Fuck. What did you even get from this? They want Gondor. Is it worth giving up Shewa to guarantee I take another state? You know what, motherfucker? Here's what we're going to do. I want fucking Lower Egypt. How much do we have, actually? We have 50 obligations. If I call in you and transfer subject for 10, I need something equivalent that's going to make it worthwhile for me. Kara's not terrible. I can only get stuff in this region. 
What's the best GDP here? This is tough. Wish I used my interest earlier. Actually, fuck it. I'm safe scumming. Why, why am I not? Why am I considering it? Like, what's what's just safe scum it? I'm not above doing it, and hopefully this time we don't get Egypt involved. Or if we do, I can get my interest, and we'll still do the same thing. All right, so we're doing our, our planned thing against these guys. Let's get some claims here to make sure if Egypt does some stupid stuff, we can actually take all their land. And let's just go ahead and offer an obligation to Shewa to get them involved. These guys should all be irregulars. Yeah, they do have some line infantry though. We matched Egypt with their GDPs. Now I could take like Lower Egypt if they really start getting crazy. And I would definitely trade Shewa for Lower Egypt. Okay, here's what we do. Give me a conquer. Need my thing to get started here. There's my interest. Give me fucking Lower Egypt. And then I'm gonna call GB in and offer them Shewa. So we lose Shewa, we gain this land. So Shewa is a, a state with 3 million GDP. Lower Egypt has th the same GDP as Shewa in one province. This also is going to decimate Egypt when we take it, right? Because this is where they have 56 barracks. And I'm fine giving up Shewa. They are going to be doing not, not much from GB. And that makes us chance. Let's make sure we actually... Okay, I need to do something crazy here. I need to make sure we have an army in our home country here. Let's also take our navy. I don't want to keep our navy in this region anymore. Get it back to Greece. How much of the army is here? This is the whole Egyptian army. Britain's on the way. We just defend with our home army. Keep the African core in our homeland. We've done a little swamparoo here, which is, uh, it's whatever. I'm hoping I don't get naval invaded, which is why I'm worried. Yeah, there's the Mediterranean station, which is fine. This is close, but I think we win it. Shewa's no longer our, our problem, right? Shewa is now GP's problem. Government reform, we're going to keep the same people in power here. No need to change it. And let's see if we can't do a naval invasion while we're here. There's egalitarianism, that's pretty good. We can now get proportional taxation, which is really good for us. Our credit's pretty bad. Let's raise taxes just for this war. All right, GB's going to start winning this, but we want to go ahead and open up another front against our guys here. So let's go ahead and take the African Corps into a naval invasion right in Lower Egypt. Terrible in efficiency because we don't have enough navy. This makes me want to actually build more navy in the Balkans. Let's go three all over the Balkans for navy. And there we go. <laughs> and then we just defend and hold because they're going to abandon this front here and we'll get everything else. What do Egypt get out of this? Do they want Gondor? So even after we're out of this war, Egypt still has a reason to like stay in. And we can actually defend against these. Never mind. Surprise maneuver is pretty strong, apparently. There's Liz there. What company do we want to establish? So livestock throughput. We don't have a ton of livestock. Textile mills aren't terrible. Radicals, colony growth. We're not even using colonies yet. Prestige, convoys. Steel mills is pretty good. Let's do... For the first one, let's do textile mills. I'm eyeing up that steel mill. 
But for now, textile mills will be really good for us. We don't have enough steel mills to warrant it yet, I think, is why I'm not doing it. All right, they will probably kick us out of here, and that's fine. If we hold for 16 days, there's a good chance we actually do well here. There we go. Second front opened up there. We're now pushing in the south of Egypt. So there goes Kaffa. And there goes Lower Egypt. Let's go. Okay, we lost Shewa. We'll stop improving with them. Does not matter. There's a lot of really wants homesteading, like desperately wants homesteading. Holy cow. A lot of them want homesteading. Why are you so angry? Oh, the change to Les Affair. We will do homesteading. I don't mind it. Get those guys happy. Uh, keep these guys in power. Lower Egypt is isolated. That's going to change. Let's reset the production here and then take a look at what we got here. So Lower Egypt. If we incorporate this, it takes 20 years. I kind of want to do it, though. I'm going to do it. Let's incorporate. Let's get it started because I'm thinking... I want to reform Byzantium. And you know Byzantium had this region at some point whenever the Roman Empire was in its peak. Also, look at all these plantations. Damn. Yeah, that's a great state for us to have. So if we do canned, canned meat and canned fish, interesting. You can do either or. So what happens here? Let's just do, let's do the fish, I guess. There's not enough stuff in the game that uses fish. Um, can I turn anything else off here? I need to make sure, well, do we have railways in other states that I need to build? Or are we full out here? I think we're fine. Uh, vineyards and other things, that's going to be split because I don't have them all focusing here. Um, only still have the one railway. Okay. Still working on universities. Let's, I want to kick back to base taxation levels. Gold reserves are growing. I think I can throw another construction sector. Let's look at our peasants. Yemen has the most peasants. Let's get one in Yemen. Unemployed, though. Lower Egypt still is the most unemployed. That should fix itself, though. That will be fine. That's a lot of sulfur they have. Also, bonus to agriculture and plantations because of the Nile. Tenant farmers doesn't matter. I know you have 10%, but screw you guys. Not worried about you. I'm setting will pass because it has just so much <laughs> people in power there with the rural folk being as strong as they are. Okay, we need to kind of let our infamy tick down here. That was an unfortunate chain of events that just happened with uh, Egypt, but we did just cut them in half. Quite literally, like, devastated them. Let's call this the uh, Egyptian core. Egyptian core. We're going to do... What speaks Egypt to me? Obviously the dragon. No, let's just do like the, the crossed sabers. And we'll go and throw the other army in there. Stationed in Ethiopia. Actually, you need to be part of the African Corps if you're stationed in that state. And let's go ahead and send one of the African Corps army guys over to Egyptian Corps. Good. 17 million GDP. Quite, quite good growth. We're about to pass Prussia. We're past the Shogunate. And we're just doing beautifully, honestly. That's the, the crown jewel of Egypt, is that single province. And if we take their other capital state here, they're kind of worthless, right? Like, if they have Middle Egypt, which is also good, and then the rest of it is kind of desert. Um, so... Not too many problems though. So let's also keep investing in construction. I want to. I'm gonna now get uh, a little bit more. Let's do it in Thessaly. Yeah, and then we're gonna start building some of our transports uh, that we are, have low infrastructure. For instance, we need one in West G and we need one in Har Amhara. There is homesteading. Pause. Infrastructure first. Um. What was I doing? West Aegeans and Amhara. We probably need one in these. But it looks like we're getting private investment to do it in Amhara. Okay, that's fine. Sure. West Aegean. Where is the... Is it these islands right here that has these? Okay. 
cool. There's nothing here that it can actually use rail transport, which is a shame, but we'll build one. Regardless. Check out our journal entries real quick. Farms and factories branching out in the railway. Uh, we need a bunch of states with the railway have occupation. And more states that have actual uh, railways built in them. Steam engine time. Railway needs to have a th level three motor industry and then have a railway that is next to a place that has three motor industries. And then we need to have an arts academy with traditional art. I'm fine doing all of these. We have level two levels of arts academy here. I and mean, what levels that need to be for this? Level two. Okay. Let's go and look at the arts academy. Where is making money? Row one in Macedonia. Uh, throw the naval bases. Naval bases are always our last priority here. And the barracks can just... Yeah, barracks can stay where it's at. All right, that'll get the Arts Academy one built. Steam Engine Times needs level three motor industry. Where do we have motor industry currently? I'm fine getting more in Eastern Thrace. And again, throw it back at the bottom there. All right, that should be fine. Let's go through our queue now. As we wait for things to tickle down here. I can probably get more interests now. I think we start expanding and finish up Africa. Let's get Persia. Well, let's get some of the European ones. I want to I want to know our European playing field here. It's quite good and quite important to me to have that. Still bordering GB, which means doing any wars with them would be absolutely terrible. Station in the Nile, throw you in with our, our home fleet, which as its special name here, just do all. And we need to pass a law. We should be passing laws when we can. Uh, we can go back to public schools. I don't want to, though. Clinical exploitation. Role folk really don't like me doing that. Neither do the intelligentsia. Cultural exclusion pisses off the role folk again. Could go since the suffrage. Could go elected bureaucrats. I think we go elected bureaucrats. That's going to help with our states, uh, or under our states, our institutions. Which is important. And maybe we do uh, wealth, like private schools, since uh, we need to get some kind of improvements in that sector. 58 um, innovativeness. It's not a ton, but it's not terrible. Amhara's kind of suffering here. Maybe we deprioritize the Amhara Railway, since they are getting one just by natural, uh, what's it called? Shortage of silk in the British market. That's unfortunate. Popular prey right. We'll just take it. And let's go and crank this area over to rail transportation. I know it's going to cause some of these plantations to suffer, but that will also just benefit private instruction to build the railways for us because they'll see that there's a good chance for profit here. And we're not uh, desperate enough that I need to really care too much about having these all be as optimal as they can be. And there's the railroad room. The steel railway cars, I think we'll do the tech. Look at steel railway cars, let's do that. And that's fine there. Okay, water tube boiler is spreading. That's fine. GDP is dropping a little bit. Low org for some of our armies. I think we have too many people to promote this guy. We'll promote you as well. Please be better. Egypt slowly incorporating. 19 years. I'm going to get through our queue for a little bit. Um, we're waiting for truces to expire with the, the Turks, I think. Or they're done. And I'm a fool. Uh, yeah, let's do this real quick. Teams back with Hejaz, Jabal Shamar, Maldavia. Okay. I feel like I can take this, though. Conquer this state. Who wants in here? Want this? I want Aiden. And I want the Eastern Aegean Islands. Add 
And I'm going to raise the whole horde of guys. Raise taxes too. So what does Egypt want? They probably want us to give them lower Egypt back. So yeah, fuck you. Um, African Corps is going to be doing... Okay, so let's get the home army over here. Let's get the African Corps over here as well. And we're just going to get the Egyptian Corps over here. Numbers should win the day here. Damn, we're having really bad chances here with this. Oman's involved. That's not the best. Um, go ahead and come back over here. Come and deal with those guys. We'll get Oman out. What do I want here? Um, make Oman a protector. I don't have enough reasons to do any of that. Can I throw anyone in? No one will get in. Let's get war reps from uh, the Ottomans and war reps from Oman. And then... I can't believe Moldavia has that many troops. 24 troops here. There are line infantry. Okay, after this, let's get general staff. I need to invest in military a little bit more. Upgrade to your regulars here. Damn, I didn't realize we were not upgrading those guys. Speaking of, I need to do my mobilization for them. Now let's let's go ahead and make the army really good. It's worth the expenses. Alright. Here we go. Our cans were upgraded for some of these armies. Okay, that's fine. We're pushing, trying to push. The blunder doesn't help. Oman should fall here. Go ahead and just defend. Let the Omanis fall in this region and then we'll just take over otherwise. I don't like this misery succession. Where is this? Lower Egypt. Oh, fuck. Okay. That's going to make us lose that fucking army. Shit. Uh, uh, adamant defense. And throw in all of our conscripts. Eighteen conscripts. And then just do all of our cannon conscripts. Mobilize. Raise conscripts. Uh, you need to be promoted probably. Yep, that's what I was worried about. Fuck. Um, mobilize the men, please. Get to this front and just defend adamantly. Low orgs I know is terrible. Still got to just hold, though. Let's, they want Eastern Thrace. We can hold long enough for these guys to win against Oman. We can win this still. 1.4k, 1.3k. Come on, win this, please. They're going to take damn more goal. How's our capitulation desire for you? Uh, 
There's the Egyptian uprising. Okay, now I need to get this army and move them way over here. This is fine. Oman will drop. Oh, I'm so worried. <laughs> They're willing to white piece, but Moldavia's almost out. Water tube boiler. Okay, okay. Whew, okay. Crystal glass for sure. Um, definitely condensing engine pumps. And we might do water tube boiler in some states. Uh, but for now, leave it be. Okay. Moldavia, Critchless Desire is gone. Who's even at this price? There's some Omans, Omanis coming, so we can uh, keep defending with that army. We should beat the Omanis here. So let's push with this army now. We might have a good advance. Now just do double advances here. Eight days for you. The sixth army is available. This is the Egyptian core. Go ahead and attack. Your army's now there. There goes Oman. Get out of my game! Give me back my lands, you bastards. You weren't ready for it. Okay, so I need to also do a naval invasion soon of the goddamn Egyptians. Ooh, okay. There goes the Ottomans. Let's go and peace out of this. All right, so win or lose Egypt, we're still looking good. Now let's do a naval invasion. It's going to be a little tough, though, because they actually have a decent force here. So we're going to have to use probably the... Let's do the 6th Greek army. I don't know where this is. They're in Anatolia. So you guys to the home army. Could violate your sovereignty. But you still... Actually, I could just do that and force it. Country is a status of a war. I'm aware. Okay, let's go ahead and reset construction in those newly conquered states that we just got. We can now form... Uh, you know who to, uh, what's the word? Byzantium. Soon. They have anything here. They have, like, nothing in this state. Wow. So what are you guys repping in terms of units? They have line infantry and mobile artillery. That's scary. Oh, yeah, we're getting absolutely demolished here. Oh, we have to violate your sovereignty, I think. Um, yeah. Violating your sovereign team, sorry. Um, African core. Come here, home army. Uh, do that. Let's go and stop this naval invasion. Uh, go into the home army over, or some of the Greek army over there. Keep the home army where it's at. Wait till these guys all go away, and then go ahead and take the home army and do a naval invasion over in this region. Egypt's in default, okay. I can actually stop this one. I want to do it somewhere. I want to do it closer to where we need to land. Please land, maybe? Do you need org? Uh, oh. I'm gonna lose Lower Egypt. 
What was the point? What was it for? We just don't take land fast enough. Naval invade? Naval invade, yes. Um, why is the Evan Corps coming over here? Home Army needs to do this, and we need to get over here and just march towards this region. We can always take it back if need be. Here we come. Where is our other army here? Go and defend adamantly. Will we get there in time? It's a valid question. It's going to be close. And we just got to fight that 25k stack there. There's our election. I'm worried about this. This is concerning. I need to pass a law, by the way, while I'm sitting here. No Irish controls? I'd go for it. I think we, pra pa we promised cultural exclusion. Oh, here we go. What the fuck? Who's not defending this? It's like there's no fights happening because the whole army's engaged. Oh, okay. There's some weird shenanigans going on here. Come on. Take the take it. Does it count? We have half the state. Oh, okay. Whatever. We lost Lower Egypt. It returns to Egypt, which is it is what it is. Um, no, no, no point in uh, complaining about that. It it, it happens. Uh, we instead are going to just transfer all these generals over to the home army and consolidate control. Overall, though, that's fine. If we lose that, like, it, it, it sucks. Um, it means we lost Shewa for nothing, technically, now. Uh, so damn you, Egypt. But we'll be back for that stuff anyway. Um, shame we had to lose some infamy to go for that. But that's not the, the big upset, though. The big, the big thing we're getting out of this is that we can now actually go and click this button, right? Oh, I need monarchy. Damn it. <laughs> damn it, damn it, damn it. No. No. Oh, do I kind of cheat? Can I do I cheat and just force monarchy? Fuck. Oh, I'm so stupid. Okay, maybe we can maybe we can swing this and get back to monarchy. We're gonna keep playing it out. I think I can swing it and get back to monarchy somehow. We're gonna have to keep the voting laws the way they are. And we'll just have to go for monarchy and just try to force it through and take whatever unrest happens. Uh for better or for worse, right? So let's unpause. Let's get this all churned through. Um I need to go and build us some more construction sectors because I think we might have lost one or two there. Fuck, I'm so upset about that. Let's go back to the bottom here and build the construction. How are we looking in terms of private construction? Getting some plantations and things, not terrible. How are we doing in terms of our journal entries, I should ask, as well? Steam Engine Time, Romanticism, they're both in the queue. We're working on a cultural exclusion. Here's the thing, though, is we just got to stamp out the monarchist journal, and so now we're going to have to go and do it again. Who actually is in favor of monarchy? Nobody is. Yeah, this church, uh, the landowners hate it. Intelligentsia hate it. 
But now it should be a more like not, it should be like a, 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 a capitalist monarch, right? It won't be like a landowner monarch, which is good, question mark. I think it'll be good. So these are just all incorporated. Let me just double check these. Greek and Turkish homelands. Do we have any other Greek homelands? Bulgarian and Turkish, uh, not any Greeks in any of these. Greeks are going to be in Crete, though. So we take Crete. We take Cyprus. I think Cyprus is a yeah Greek state. It's also the Ionians. Okay, we'll make do. I'm going to stop cultural exclusion. I'm going to go just right for monarchy. I need to. I need to happen. Fuck. Hey, get the petite bourgeoisie in there. Intelligence out. Yeah, but people was I in will leave the intelligentsia. And we're going for the freaking monarchy. Let's try it. Let's try it. Everything be damned. We'll give it a go. And we'll see what happens. All right, let's just double check that these guys are actually starting to actually fill in the... Um, I said actually twice. We're going to check that these guys are actually getting hired here. It looks like they are. So I can... Should be able to go and increase our peasant level even higher. Let's do... Let's do one in Somaliland and one in Yemen. Make sure these guys are all working. Investing heavily into our construction. And then we're going to need to circle back and do our universities once we get through this two-year queue that we have. All right, we will have a revolt. That is fine. We'll deal with it when it comes. The faster it gets forced, the better. We can't avoid it, so might as well go. Uh, we're going to lose Albania, Thessaly, and Macedonia. Oh, I can't believe I, I fucked that. Damn. Okay, we did pretty decently in the debate sphere. We're now about... It's all up to the, the dice rolls on debates, um, as far as if we get back to the monarchy or not. Uh, normally, I've never gone from republic to monarchy ever in my life. So... Uh, that's, you know, that sucks. Let's get the enact oligarchy. Okay, let's get the guy who wants to become a monarch here, a royalist. Let's grant him leadership. So now the royal folks are going to be really in, in on our side here on the monarchy things. So the royal folks are now loyal to us. And there's our agitator. Okay, so that's going to basically force through the monarchy thing. We'll be back to that. So we've we've done fine. We did fight a civil war to get rid of the monarchy, but then we realized they're not that bad. So we're bringing them back. We're bringing them back. Maybe we do, you know, this whole, you know, election stuff. It's dumb. Bring back the uh, divine right. That's what we're about over here in Greece. Um, we've also been heavily focusing on construction and we're still having a huge excess of taxes so i'm just going to keep doing that uh what's what's this yeah sure give more to the intelligence yeah so we'll probably have a rural folk monarch which is interesting i'd love for it to be intelligent and like the industrialist though but rural folk's not the worst um we're at, we're at the point where like, we, we have enough bop where i don't think we need to do anything crazy to get laws passed? Let's see, what do we do now? Air stats food is fine. We'll just lose some tax for a little bit. When's our truce up with the likely foes here? Truce is up with the Turks in 27 months, three years for Egypt and Moldavia in 24 months. Okay. So I think we can do over here. I think we're going to become the dominant force. We're going to basically reform the Ottoman Empire, or I guess the Byzantine Empire, because they, they did own this too. Um, but that's all we're going to do. Okay, we're still making a ton of money. We're going to get our journal entries done. I'm going to just kind of let these laws kind of pass. We're getting the Arts Academy of Macedonia and then the Motor Industries, and that'll pass our two remaining journal entries that have 12 months left. Uh, so those will get done, I think. 
and everything else is fine. So I'm going to go ahead and get Monarchy, and then we're going to come back once we either have a revolt happen or we uh, fix this shit that I did. So see you guys soon. All right, we will see. We'll roll the dice in 30 days and see whether or not we can get back to being a Monarchy. We've grown back up to 17 million GDP, which is where we left off before we uh, when we lost Lower Egypt here. Speaking of Egypt, they are still are about in parity with us in terms of troop strength. Um, let's go ahead and lose some troop strength from the Petit Bourgeoisie. Once this law gets passed, I'm going to throw people out of the government here. Let's see. Monarchy, okay. Great. Aristocrats are back in power. Our monarchy is, uh, of course, a rural folk monarchy, which is interesting to say the least. I don't think I've ever seen a rural folk monarchy. Uh, we do have lots of fair and free trade, so we've got everything that we need done from the rural folk, honestly, at this point. Uh, there is migration controls, which we could do. Uh, in fact, we just we just made the rural folk really happy, so let's do migration controls while we're here. Uh, we're about to get reinforced concrete, but that's not important. What's important is clicking this button here. With the restoration of Byzantium, our nation has laid claim to the legacy of Rome. He climbed the old Curia as the sky darkened in the storm clouds. The tales of the old patricians said that the senators would climb the Curia and wait for the sign of the gods' favor. He sat, but not for long. Lightning cracked the sky, and a golden eagle landed by the gutter. And he wept. Rome would rise once more. Holy claims! Ankara, Edana, Dirka, Con, Kostomo, Cyprus, Crete, Southern Serbia, Montenegro, Croatia, Dalmatia, Slovenia, Bulgaria, and Bosnia. So we get claims on a bunch of stuff. Our color has changed. And we are beautiful. We are so, so, so beautiful here uh, with our nice purple color. Yeah, I think we're the only purple nation in, well, Peru Bolivia is a different shade, but let's go. We are Byzantium. And I bet you I could now go back to change my my uh, my monarchy, right? I could go back to this if I wanted to. Uh, but we're going to keep the Basilica in. Yeah, we'll have a constitutional monarchy. Our king, this dude, is in power. So it's all good. Ooh. I was so worried. I was so, so worried when I saw I had to be a monarchy that I just absolutely ruined the campaign. But thankfully, we got lucky with that agitator from the rural folk. She just get us all where we needed to be. All right, that's the dude that we, uh... I don't know, that's a different guy. That is in power. And yeah, we still have the monarchists in the agrarian party. But I'll take that. I will definitely take that. That is great. And now we just need to eat stuff. So let's go and see what we have claims on. If I want to go and say diplomatic demands and return state, it would be Serbia that we could fight. It was an alliance with the United Principalities. Okay, so it looks like we're going to have to eat up a bunch of the land in this region here. I don't know if we actually got claims on Italy. I don't think we did. But now we have Montenegro wanting a defensive pact. Sorry, Montenegro. Not going to happen. Okay, so what do we do now? Uh, we still have a ton of money free. We have crossed 100 construction capacity. I want to invest into universities once again. But I also want to get our income back to like the baseline of zero. So let's go ahead and build... Sort by peasants. I want to do ones that we have. Let's get two more construction sectors. And then I want to start queuing up universities in a lot of my core states over here. So let's go and just make sure uh, where we have these, we're going to get to five. And we're going to see how that does. That's going to kick us up quite a bit with our innovative disc cap. And we'll just keep growing. We have free trade, so we also are going to get huge investments. You know, we're spending our investment pool right now, which means we're at a good level of... Uh, um, we're, at, we're at a good level as far as our construction capacity goes. We're spending all our investment pool. We're not growing. That means we're matching our growth in that regard. Um, but for now, I'm put a cut in. We've gotten our goal so far. Uh, now we just need to grow as fast as possible and try to see how high we can hit. Right? We're at 17 million. Uh, Japan is in front of us, but there's a lot of ground to get up before we can really play with the big boys. I'm looking at Italy with 23. I'm looking at Spain with 21. Those are all former Roman territories, so we need to... Uh, need to deal with them. Uh, I don't know if we're going to conquest them, but we can at least uh, beat them economically. So for now, I'm going to put a cut in. Hope you guys enjoyed. I've been Sean with Blue Screeners, and I'll catch you in the next one. Later.